Hello from Slovenia again. <clears throat> I'm testing some products that you can buy in US for reverse flower dip. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just a second. Okay. Uh, how this will work, if it will work or not. <clears throat> so that's why I will not talk about the products. It's some glue and binder and water. Let's see what will happen. And I will start with my pearl white mixture that it's Vallejo pearl medium, titanium white by Amsterdam, and of course this new pouring medium mixture and I have some magenta if it will work I can keep it and some pearl white again and some cadmium yellow Definitely, this pouring medium is different and it drips much more than mine. And magenta again. Just pour all three colors here just to have a little more of the solid color in the middle, hopefully. Orange. Okay. 
now I will spray my napkin with water a little bit to soften it down it's easier for me like that because it's easier to lift it if you spray it with water a little bit but don't need to if you are <clears throat> if you feel that you like to work with the dry one so now I will put my napkin down here in the middle I think that I have an air pocket underneath it's not so important with the napkin with the plastic it would be more Problematic to get the uh, air pockets out, but with the napkin, it's not. That's why I prefer napkin instead of plastic. Now I will just gather my corners in the middle and try to keep them in the middle. Important because of the shape of the flower maybe this will not work at all and it will not be important at all but what if it will It's always uh, you always have to wait for the dry result because it tends to just grow those ter cells tends to grow and grow and when it's dry it's totally different than the wet result um, with my pouring medium when I use my uh, European products they stay like they are when they are wet but with the glue I have this problem but maybe because of some with the ingredient that I put in today maybe it will be better that's why I want to do this experiment. <coughs> so sorry. I can already see that it will grow a little more than I want to. Like this black hole here. So let me take you down for a close up of the wet results and then we will see what will happen.
So this is a close-up of the dried result. I did varnish it because the glue tends to dull down the paintings and it is quite beautiful but I'm still not there because I still see some of this kind of hazing. Yes, it's okay. But I like my sharp lines with my pouring medium and I want to achieve that. And there are some weird cells popping through here and there. Nothing wrong, don't get me wrong. But still want to achieve. See this one, the red one. The effects that I do with my pouring medium, that's why I'm still, I will still experiment before. I will reveal the recipe. I don't know which orientation. And what bothers me the most is that uh, Paint don't stay, paints don't stay on the canvas while drying. They tend to grow and grow and that's why the, uh, the shape of the flower doesn't stay. Uh, maybe this way. Stay as nice as I want. You see, it's a little more... I don't know, kind of wonky or how can I say, but it's still beautiful. So I will experiment some more. Uh, if you are interested, of course. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.